Hello everyone, this is Sujit and you are watching me in Grace Filling Station. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In my last video, we were talking about our personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the Lord. It is not about He is living somewhere out there, but He is living in you. He that joined unto the Lord are one spirit with Him. You are united with Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Let's see something in the book of Acts, chapter 1. Jesus instructed his disciples, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the Holy Spirit. They obeyed him, chapter 2. As they were together in the upper room, the power of the Holy Spirit came upon them. Remember the first preaching of Peter? 3,000 people received life. Amen. Chapter 3, Peter and John, they healed, they performed an outstanding miracle. As a, result, as, a, as a result of that miracle, they had a huge crowd around them. They preached Jesus to them. They were arrested. Chapter, chapter 4, they were arrested and they were put in prison. The elders of Israel asked them, How did you guys do this? Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, he said, Rulers and elders of Israel, if you want to know how, it is in the name of Jesus whom you crucified but God raised him from the dead Amen and he is alive the elders in Israel they noticed one thing these men who performed a miracle they are they were unschooled untrained but they stand before them with boldness preaching Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. They were witnessing Jesus before them. The same man who was afraid to testify Jesus to a servant girl. He said, I do not know Jesus. But the same man who is standing before the elders in Israel and he says, I know this Jesus. I stand here before you in his name. Hallelujah. What a life. Chapter 5, people in Israel, they brought their sick and they laid them in, in beds and mats so that at least the shadow, can you just imagine the shadow of Peter might fall on them as he passed by? Hallelujah. These men started with power and they grew in great power. They were unstoppable. They put them in prison locked them up nothing stopped them I asked the Lord Lord Luke chapter 6 verse 12 says Jesus you went up to the mountain and you prayed all night and the next day he chose 12 do, do you think Jesus prayed like this Father in heaven show me the best man in Israel show me some man who has good muscles who goes to gym show me some people or show me some warriors show me some most educated men in Israel no he chose ordinary people but when I read the book of Acts I don't see ordinary people there I said Lord you choose ordinary men but I see extra ordinary men walking in extraordinary power amen the shadow had the power to heal the sick Signs and wonders were happening wherever they go. I said, Lord, what is the secret? Give me that key. Would you like to know the key? Would you like to know the secret? Yeah. John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. Jesus said, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Say drink. Streams of living water will flow from within him. Now Jesus is talking about the Holy Spirit, right? I travel a lot and what I see people fast and pray for 40 days or 20 days or 40 days and they say revival, revival, revival not knowing that the revival is inside of them. Streams of living water is inside of them. When you come to Jesus, he will make you the powerhouse of God. My friend, if you have Jesus in your life, 
if you have a relationship with him let me tell you let me remind you who you are you are a powerhouse of god you are the revival you are the presence of god on earth my friend that is what who you are you should know your value your value is jesus christ amen the secret of walking in great power the secret of walking in supernatural is having an intimate relationship with the holy spirit hallelujah my friend let's pray now father in the name of jesus everyone who is watching me right now i'm releasing the power of god upon them i'm releasing the healing power right now arthritis be healed in jesus name diabetes die in jesus name i cancel death summon name sushma i release the power of god upon you i speak life upon you i cancel that that symptom in jesus mighty name i cancel that medical report that is against you you shall live and not die amen you are a divine partaker of the life of god you are in christ darkness has no power over you my friend amen the holy spirit is in you he is around you you are surrounded with the favor of god my friend just talk to him today listen to him today and enjoy your walk with the holy spirit you will see the result of your intimacy with him you will see signs and wonders following you god bless you Jesus